Arsenal has offered an early escape from the £12 million summer transfer nightmare after January collapse. The Gunners have a potential option to profit from a challenging summer deal, with Lazio's path emerging for Nuno Tavares. Arsenal is open to selling Nuno Tavares this summer, as understood by Football.London, after a January move failed to materialise. The young Portuguese international remains on loan at Nottingham Forest after a permanent move to Marseille fell through, with the Premier League club needing Tavares to cover injuries and absences during the African Cup of Nations. Arsenal did not include a recall clause in Tavares' loan to Forest in the summer, preventing them from bringing him back without an agreement. Instead, OM moved for Quentin Merlin from Nantes for a fee of around €10 million, Euros, £8.6 million. However, according to Italian media, Tavares has attracted interest from Serie A's Lazio. The new Bianca Celesti manager Igor Tudor worked with Tavares last season when he was in charge of Marseille, while the Arsenal player was on loan. Former Arsenal midfielder and current Lazio star Matteo Genduzzi has already welcomed Tudor, under whom he played at OM with Tavares. He said, Tudor's footballing idea can unsettle other teams in Serie A. He did great things at OM, although it was complicated for everyone at the end of last season, and we couldn't finish second. He had already performed well in Serie A with Hellas Verona. Arsenal hopes Tudor's appointment indeed signifies a renewed desire to bring Tavares to the Stadio Olimpico. Meanwhile, a thigh injury has seen Tavares miss the last for league games for Forrest and could miss many more. It's still unclear if this will end his season, but there's no update yet on when he might actually return. Arsenal hopes he will come back and continue the form that impressed his Portuguese manager at Forrest. The better he performs, the more chances there are to improve the number and quality of offers on the table. With Oleksandr Zinchenko, Jakub Kiwia, Jurian Timber, and Tokahiro Tomiyasu, the left-back position in North London is nearly impossible for Tavares to break into, hence the imminent departure is not surprising but could still be financially beneficial for the Gunners. Forrest has a £12 million purchase option on his loan, but it's unlikely to be activated considering their financial concerns. If Arsenal can get close to this value from Lazio or another interested party, it will be both a profit and significant financial aid for their cause. Arsenal has a transfer edge over Chelsea as Stan Krenker seeks to grant Mikel Arteta the £51.4 million wish. The Gunners hold a crucial advantage over Chelsea in the race for sporting CP defender and Ivory Coast international Usman Diamond. Arsenal enters the summer window with hopes of a third consecutive title challenge, as Mikel Arteta positions the Gunners among the world's elite clubs. What was once seen as a potential wonder of a season in 2022-23 has evidently shown few signs of fading so far. This, of course, means that the summer of 2023, which brought with it record spending and the arrival of the first £100 million player, Declan Rice, has raised expectations even higher for 2024. In London, however, Chelsea is not expected to be close to the race for even Champions League qualification, which was certainly a different scenario at the start of Mikel Arteta's tenure at the Gunners. Chelsea has lured many targets previously linked to Arsenal to Stamford Bridge, from Eden Hazard to more recently Moises Caicedo. However, with both teams interested in sporting CP's Usman Diamant, the scenario shifts. According to Record via Sport Witness, Arsenal has set the wheels in motion to start negotiations for Diamond, despite Chelsea reportedly offering €60 million, Euros, £51.4 million. Pounds. Nothing has been agreed upon with the Portuguese team, which could also see the departure of Goncalo Ignacio and Victor Giocas in the summer, both also linked to a move to North London. When it comes to choosing between the sides, it may seem, at least on paper, like an easy choice. Arsenal, barring a catastrophe, will again be a Champions League team next season, a club consistently progressing under the stewardship of a manager expected to commit his long-term future, with a track record of developing young players and hopes of winning many titles. Meanwhile, Chelsea's path is uncertain, whether they'll be in European action next season or not. That said, Diamond would surely be a starter in Chelsea's team, with many doubts surrounding several of their defensive signings. Meanwhile, Arsenal hopes to have a central defensive partnership formed by William Saliba and Gabriel Mogales. 
However, Arteta has been somewhat scrutinized for needing to improve squad rotation, and with the number of games the club will likely play next season as the Champions League expands, having quality throughout the team will provide many chances to Diamond should he choose the Gunners. However, the proposed numbers also raise questions to some extent. Arsenal has greater needs in midfield and on the wing. Sporting director Edu Gasper and future managing director Richard Garlick will be in charge of summer spending, under Josh Krenke's ownership. Balancing how the club directs investment and, at the same time, working within the confines of profit and sustainability regulations, with Chelsea also under persistent financial scrutiny, will be crucial. And if you are in love with Arsenal and follow our channel, you already know that we are bringing the most exclusive news to the front line every day, and if you are new here, don't miss out and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything, thank you.